Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, certainly thank you for your patience and for joining us here today. Uh, conservation of our wildlife is indeed an important focus for the government of Newfoundland and Labrador, and that is why we are here today to announce conservation measures for the George River caribou herd. Effective immediately, a five-year hunting ban has been implemented for the George River herd for conservation purposes. This ban will be assessed after two years, pending a review of herd status and health. The George River herd continues to experience a very serious decline, and strong action is required by our government to address the immediate and long-term protection of this important resource. Our first priority is conservation of these animals, and that is why we are imposing a total allowable harvest of zero on this herd. Recent census results, along with fall <coughs> classification information and ongoing population modeling, have presented some startling results. Currently, the herd stands at less than 20,000 animals, representing a decline of more than 70% since July 2010, estimate of 74,000. This, this is particularly startling when you realize this herd once stood at an estimated 775,000 in 1993 and has continually spiraled downward to its current state. While migratory caribou populations are known to cycle nat naturally over a period of 50 to 70 years, the cause of the current and continued decline of the George River herd is not clear. Results from the 2012 fall classification indicate only 5% calves in the population and 2% large stags, down from 10% and 3% respectively in 2011. These results are also supported by information received from Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal groups. Furthermore, information acquired through the province's ongoing caribou health monitoring program indicate <coughs> low pregnancy rates and tracking of radio collared caribou continues to suggest high adult mortality, estimated at approximately 30% annually. Since 2010, we have imposed increasingly restrictive harvest management actions in an effort to limit the effect of harvesting on the decline. However, the slope and severity of the population decline demands that hunting related mortality is eliminated. We also applaud the announcement of the Nassivut government and the new Tunavut Community <coughs> Council in December recommending their members suspend harvesting of the George River caribou. We remain committed to working with all interested parties, including the province of Quebec, on the recovery and long-term management of our George River herd. Conservation must be the overriding factor in all of our decision-making as we work cooperatively to ensure this herd remains for generations to come. I now ask my colleague, Minister Collins, to say a few words. Thank you, Minister. <coughs> the hunting ban that we're announcing today for the George River herd is a necessary step and one that we hope will protect this herd into the future. Herd is very important for the people of Labrador, and especially for the Aboriginal peoples. And the decision to implement a hunting ban has certainly not been an easy one. Over the past several weeks, we have held numerous meetings <coughs> and telephone conversations between ministers and Aboriginal leaders with the Nanatsiafit government and the Indian Nation. And we're very pleased with the stance taken by the Nanatsiafit government and the Nanatuva Community Council in support of the zero harvest for the George River Carbo herd. But despite much consultation and discussion and our very best efforts, we have not been able to get support for a zero harvest from the Inu Nation to date. And we recognize and we respect Aboriginal culture and tradition and the important role that the Carbo plays in this culture and tradition. But in this case, however, given the decline of the George River Carbo herd and the need for conservation must be paramount and we must enforce the zero harvest for this herd in order to protect it for all people, Aboriginal <coughs> and non-Aboriginal, into the future. We also recognize the importance of caribou to the dietary requirements of the Aboriginal peoples of Labrador. And our government will work with Aboriginal groups of Labrador to help ensure that their sustenance requirements are being met. We're committed to continue the dialogue, as my, minister, my colleague, Minister Henderson stated, we're committed to the dialogue, continued dialogue with the Aboriginal peoples, as we continue to protect this herd for future generations. The ban we are announcing today is a responsible decision. Thank you. Uh, Minister? Thank you, and good afternoon, everyone. 
a few brief comments, and I want to stress to everybody up front that we have fish and wildlife enforcement officers on site. Uh, these are very highly trained, highly qualified individuals. Uh, they're on the ground in Labrador. We're monitoring the hunting regularly. We're documenting information. The officers are interacting with the hunters and will continue to do so in the coming days and weeks and months. Uh, we are conducting patrols with vehicles, snowmobiles, and helicopters. We also have additional resources at our disposal should the need arise. There is an operational plan in place with fish and uh, wildlife and it's prepared to handle situations uh, where we may have to deal with large groups of hunters in particular situations and we are prepared to implement that operational plan if the circumstance requires it. In all regions of our province, the Fish and Wildlife Enforcement Division works closely with the RCMP, the RNC and the Department of Environment and Conservation as well as local groups and we'll continue to do that. We'll play our part here uh, around the enforcement piece to ensure the announcement that's being made today by the provincial government is upheld. But I do ask in my concluding remarks that people please respect the ban that's being brought in and remember the ultimate goal of this announcement, which is to sustain this herd. Thank you.